that was probably one of the most thoughtful and fairest sentences I've ever had uh, practicing defense work for over 30 years. Uh, the judge put a lot of thought into it, and uh, it was the, probably the, it was the appropriate sentence under the circumstances. It was just a fair sentence. I, like I said, you know, I don't want to see anybody go to jail, but it was a fair sentence. I can't complain about it at all. And especially uh, considering the uh, the Allentown and Reading uh, mayor situation still facing uh, 84 months, um, I just guess in comparison, uh, talk to us about that. Well, I mean, when you look at the Allentown sentence, that guy got 15 years. It was kind of similar conduct, but that was the guy also who took the, the government to trial. And like I said in the sentencing, he forced the witnesses to take the stand. He attacked their credibility uh, against, against substantial evidence. Mr. Courtright came in and readily admitted his involvement and, and took his, his punishment. And uh, you know, so you can see that he would deserve a sentence considerably less than what the guy in Allentown got. The, the, the judge uh, commending you and then the, the other side of the aisle on uh, being able to kind of see what happened and, and not necessarily push the case in any other way again uh, with Mr. Courtright immediately surrendering. Uh, talk to us a little bit about that. Well, and we, when we came in to see the government, uh, we recognized the, the volume of their evidence and Mr. Courtright knew that he couldn't, couldn't fight it and he did the right thing. He took, you know, he stood up, he was a man and he took responsibility. And then when it came to the ter time of sentencing, we negotiated with the government and we did not reach a resolution, but I knew based on our discussions that they would make a fair recommendation. So I was, I was happy with their recommendation. And I give them credit. And when you think it's their recommendation was one third of what the guidelines were without the acceptance of responsibility. So they were very, very fair. What's your client's uh, reaction to the to the sentence today? Uh, is he relieved? Is what, what is his thought process? I think he's just relieved to get it over with. Uh, he's been you know on pins and needles for nearly two years now, and I think he's just relieved to get it over with. Uh, so I mean, obviously he doesn't want to go to jail, but I think it was it was less than what he expected, but he's just relieved to get it over. With. Have you spoken to the family? Uh, no. You're, no. Okay. Um, now, is that a seven years in prison and three years supervised release? It's in the federal system, you get it's the sentence. You get a seven year sentence, then it's three years supervised release. There's no parole or probation. Mm -hmm. But he will get credit for, uh, he'll get good time credit for the years that he's in there. So he'll get 50 some days credit for every, every year he's in there. And my hope is that he can get a camp up in Wayne County uh, that he can be close to home. No. I would I would imagine, sir, uh, to your point just now, uh, it must have been a relief to hear the judge say that he would recommend a, a prison nearby so the family can visit. Yeah, he's got an elderly mother, and he's got uh, grandchildren. I don't know if the grandchildren will visit him, but he's got, he's got kids over here, and he's got an elderly mother, his wife's here, so I'm happy that he's going to be close to home. Sorry, Paul, if you already answered this, but one of the things that you seemed you seemed most frustrated by was a lack of an explanation for this. I, you know, and the reason I say that is because I live most of my life in Lackawanna County, and I've seen, you know, what happens in Lackawanna County, and I've got, uh, I've got five kids, none of whom are going to return to Lackawanna County, and, you know, it's, it's like you have to stop. You know, we looked what goes on with the school district, we looked what went on with Cordero and Munchak, and, you know, we're kind of the laughing stock of Pennsylvania, and, uh, you know, people, people here from Lackawanna County, they look at you with a crooked eye. So it just has to stop, you know? It can't be business as usual. Were you happy that the judge acknowledged that Bill took responsibility in pleading guilty compared to the Allentown and Reading cases? Well, and that's what, that was, a, I think that was a substantial factor, not only for the judge, but for the government, is that, you know, he readily admitted his involvement. He came in, uh, we had the plea agreement signed on a Wednesday and took the plea on a Monday, or Tuesday. And didn't do it sooner only because I was on vacation. So he took responsibility. All right. Thank you, Thank you, sir. I don't know which way he's going.